Got her loaded up, putting her in the wind here. Headed back west, Illinois bound. And uh, have not had the big deer there for a couple days, but he's been every three days, which is weird, but crazy. Um, but he's in the area, he's due to show tomorrow. Cold front hitting tonight, early in the morning. So headed there now to meet Rob and all the guys, Abram, all the guys, Mr. Bob. They say the deer are starting to get with it, rock and rolling. So loaded up here, headed west. Sure, just woke everybody in camp up November the 11th. Our deer in Tennessee, what we call Aldine, was actually on the phone with Daryl last night. And deer he passed last year two or three times. Try to let him get bigger. We ain't had a picture of him, I'm gonna say a month. At least three weeks. Anyways, he showed up last night and again this morning. Daryl made a little scrape tree with scrape fix. Which I got a feeling he'll be chasing tonight. It's muzzleloader season in Tennessee, but got a lot going on here. Got all the camera stuff. Got some snacks. Water. And Jake's oversized rattling horns. Slip it in here just about an hour. 45 minutes before daylight. Same one buck get on the side of the road coming here and two bucks chasing, so. It's easy to say the rut's on and go tell what may show up, but shut my holy tailgate. Wasn't no problem walking in here without moonlight. I was quiet as I could, just took my time. Been in the stand at least an hour before it even started breaking. Trying to beat any of these deer that may be coming back in here to bed. I'm right on the fringe of it, right here behind me. It's all just thick, thick wall of mess. About 12 and a half hours right there is all you want. Just go back to the truck, it's slow. Slow after 9.45 this morning, saw a doe and a fawn, that was it. I ain't heard from Daryl, so I'm assuming he didn't do no good on the Aldine buck. And then Mr. Bob, I know he didn't do any good, so regroup, get ready for they're calling for, I think, snow tonight, so regroup and get back after tomorrow. Whole different ball game today. Whew, sweating now. Just getting ready, but got a whole different setup. 
whole different layering system. Need a man from Snowy River down here. It is snowing. It's supposed to snow till lunch, but they never kill one in the snow. A lot of different scenery this morning. And from just the chances, light snow, flurry stuff. More light showing up snow. No sign of the big there last night on camera. The big egg that I passed last trip. seen a deer between 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock. It's a long set, especially on a day like this. Come out and take a break for probable cause. Who got him? Yeah. Awesome. He's a stud, ain't he? He's a hammer. Dude, that's awesome. Look at that joker. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thanks, bud. Golly, man, what a toad. And uh, where I was sitting up on this ridge, and I, I just happened to be standing up. I didn't have my bow in my hand or nothing. I see this face, and I seen just a tip, and I'm saying, well, it doesn't look like much, but whatever. <laughs> I'll go back and then to he come up on the hill and he went, I said, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm starting to get nervous. Did you know what deer it was? I just knew he was, yeah. you know, I got to shoot him. He was only 25 yards. He stopped dead and pissed on his hocks. <laughs> I grabbed my bow, my damn release. I kept popping open on me. wouldn't stay locked. So he's just right there walking in front he's of He's just walking. Now he's getting away going further. Four or five times. Finally, I got it locked. I grabbed the rope. I looked at him. I drew back. I went Bow. Now I can't see the peep. Oh. I, <laughs> I have problems with these glasses, right? I can't find him in the peep. I'm going, come on. Yeah. Right? Finally, I get the peep and the pin in it. I kept saying to myself, find that leg, find that leg. 
I found a leg and went pop and I heard pop and he took off running, he didn't mule kick nothing. And I see him going, he's running like I didn't hit him. I said, are you kidding me? I missed this deer. And I didn't. I, where's, your, where'd you hit it? Is that the exit? exit? That's, that's the egg egg Oh, you smoked? And I shot him right where I thought I twisted him. Oh, that's the deer you hit in. Yeah. yeah. He hit here. I came, came out, out there. the same exact hole he hit, and it hit him through the leg and came out the light. So wait, what now? So what I said he was right there. He stirred it on the rib yep. with his broadhead, just literally guided down, and then came back out because it, it never broke the rib cage. So that's where you went in. That was your entrance. Yeah. What happened was he just sliced him here. If you look, you can feel, all the, feel it all the way through here. Oh, wow. yep. And it yep. came out and went right through there. That's why you kicked. What a I swear, unique I story. I <laughs> <laughs> you can't write this script. I thought I missed him. This sucker was like a tribe of Indian on the road of home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, holes like a pin cushion. <laughs> and he turned his head and I said, no way, don't tell me I missed him. And then I saw him go, and he watched him yeah. go down too. And I'm, and I'm looking off to the, to the, and I hear something, I'm looking off to the right and I hear something, and I look to the left up on the hill and I just see his cage. I'm like, I don't even have to look through binos. Well, I'm that's like, him. that's him. And I, and I get my grunt tube because it looks like he's chasing a doe. And I, <laughs> and I, I hit it, I'm like, Rrr. and then I watch him and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, holy crap! And then he goes down, and I see it, and I'm watching the binos, and his head goes down, and you I hear him go, God, I can't believe he did this. <laughs> holy sh! Look at your old arrow. Oh man. <laughs> I couldn't be more pumped for you. Oh, oh. oh Lord. Where are those beans are? I can't believe it. <laughs> Dude. You drilled him. I drilled him. I knew I drilled him. When he up. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Miss Bob, you late this morning? Are you? Yeah. You late too? Yeah. I don't yeah. care. These four o'clock morning getting early. You don't care. Either, Give the do people you? the words of motivation. What day is this? How about I don't have a clue? <laughs> when you've been doing this for almost thirty days, you don't know whether you're coming or going. <laughs> All I want is one thing: a dead deer, or just about as bad to go home. <laughs> <laughs> It's too late to pull out. Ride it out? Yeah, let's ride it out. Okay. Okay, boy. All right, good luck. I think this is day 11. I can't really remember, to be honest with you. It's 11 or 12 hunting this deer. Last trip, I let that one deer go. No one else gonna come back. six or seven days.
didn't know what deer that was at first. I was literally about to get out. Sucker come in right here. I just heard some walking and come out. Come in here, hit the scrape. He almost got whacked. He caught me by surprise. Whew, I want too bad. Back at it again this afternoon after our boy Aldine. He showed up last night, but dark, dark. 10 minutes after shooting time, no way to get him on the camera. The weather's definitely changed. The front Culpepper's hunting in Illinois has just come through here. You know, it's 35 now with north wind, so hopefully that gets him on his feet earlier tonight than he did last night, so we'll see. Fingers crossed, today's the day. hear something walking and I look out and I'm like oh f and I turned the camera on and it was just black I couldn't see sh I, I mean I just seen I could tell it was him and I I, I really didn't because I'm telling you it was so dark it's cloudy and overcast it was still legal shooting time but it's so cloudy and overcast I mean it was dark walking out and once again I'm still the low man on the pole because I've only got a GoPro, but I just killed a freaking giant in Tennessee. Probably my biggest Tennessee deer ever. I don't know what to say. It's my biggest Tennessee deer, dude. Oh, he's nice. That is my biggest Tennessee deer. Been gone for five weeks. Showed up two days ago. <laughs> oh, man. Since then, I guess ain't much changed. If I ain't working, it don't rain. I'll be out on the water in the woods or down on the farm. Last morning in Illinois, already got a broke a sweat. Literally, because we had a big change of plans. Have hunted this deer today, will be day 13. Pulled off of him yesterday afternoon to go hunt a place. Jake was nice enough to let me hunt and have not had pictures of this big deer. I've been hunting for seven days and he just shows up on Spartan. I'm headed down here to try to get back up here and get set up, hoping I have some luck on my side. And I don't know, he's, he looked like he was hurting. He's limping bad, so but he's in the wood block. So that's all you can hope for right now. Trying to figure out, it'd be interesting what you would do if you was in this situation. The deer was on camera, he's not on camera. I don't know whether to go in there right now or let it start breaking day. I think I'm gonna try it. This could be a bona fide tacticam hunt here, but. We'll see. Get tag on cold. I think I can get by this hole. This little bar or whatever it is or else in this thicket and just try to go up there with the west wind hoping they get up and cruise and move around because I think he's in this thicket right here somewhere I bet he's within 300 yards of me 170 yards where he's bedded this morning on camera I feel like 
like he's right here somewhere if he's still laying down. I don't know if he's hobbled up bad enough to where he ain't gonna be cruising or not, but there's an old piece of equipment right here. I wish I could get to it, but all these deer were cruising just the other side of it every time I'd see them. Just sitting on the ground. Got an air knock for hope. I've seen crazier things, but last day here, so got a couple hours just gonna sit next to this tree and reflect on 13 days of hunting. Supposed to leave by 11 o'clock today and here it is. I think almost two o'clock, but I got cameras out. Hopefully that deer shows up. Stayed hard after him for as long as I could. And it's time to hit the road, but I gave him all I had. He whooped me. 13 days and some change, but end of the day, should have got him killed. Had the opportunity, I feel like, to kill him on the couple times he was daylight and when those times were I wasn't here so that's on me but the chase is always fun but that's why they what they say they call it hunting but I ain't gonna lie it'd be nice to have a bloody air at the end of the trail but not this time so thank y'all for tuning in and watching y'all be safe good luck hunting Yeah. Well, he hurt when he shot. Smack! Oh, I was like, that's long, baby. <laughs> Abram gave him a red dot to shoot for. Yeah, <laughs> something to hold on.